There's no way you're not carrying Trick Room Alakazam, right? Oh god! Oh no! Please no! <laughs> don't do this to me, I don't want to die! What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another Boost to the Top VGC 2021 session. Today we'll be using a team by my buddy Zordor. It's a Sandaconda team because he is quite the Sandaconda enthusiast. It looks really cool and I'm really excited to try it out. I don't know how well I'll do with it since I haven't practiced at all with it yet, but I'm, I'm really excited to try it out. Sandaconda is one of my favorite Pokemon and it's one of his too and we kind of bond over that. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this same point in time, do me a favor, leave a like and then subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and let's go ahead and get into this. Actually, wait, no. Before we get into this, this is a sponsored video. Who is the sponsor? Well, it's it's a product that I very much enjoy. Go ahead and check out this ad I put my heart, soul, and cringe into. 998. 999. 1,000. Ugh. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Marcus Perez, Pokemon Extraordinaire. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why is it I only ever lift weights? Don't I ever do something else? Might be wondering, do I ever do any cardio or agility training? Well, I got that covered too. Ugh, I used to be like you. Always worried about speed tears, but not anymore. Yep, none of that's even a concern to me anymore. Now that I got the Extreme Speed app. With the Extreme Speed app, I can compare my Pokemon speed tiers on the fly, whether it be due to a Tailwind, Icy Wind, Max Airstream, or anything else. I was part of the beta test for this bad boy. It's even got a mode named after me. You can check your Pokemon speed tiers even more efficiently with this simplified layout. You ever wonder if your Regieleki is faster or slower than that Moltres now that it's got plus two speed? Well, worry no more. You can check on the fly. Look how quick it was. Did it while I was talking to you. The Extreme Speed app is only 99 cents on the Google Play Store and you can get it right now by clicking the link in the description down below. I can tell you something for certain. It's been helping me a lot in my recent battles because I'm really bad at remembering speed tiers and I know you guys will enjoy it too. Check it out in the link below. Okay, now that, that cringe fest is over, we can go ahead and get into the video. Thank you so much to Extreme Speed for sponsoring this video. It's actually a really good app, guys. I I'm not kidding. I use it a lot. But let's do it. By the way, uh, team is linked in the description down below, uh, as well as the Poke Paste. This is my first time using it, so once again, I don't know how well I'm going to do with it. I did pretty poor last session with the rental team. I don't know. It's, it's just how I am. I always do really bad with rental teams, and I do pretty good with my own teams, but that's just how I am. I find it very difficult to use a team I didn't build. And that's not because, like, every team besides mine is bad. Like, that's not it at all. It's it's like, I just don't know how to pilot something I didn't make from the ground up. In fact, he left very few instructions with the team. He gave me the paste. Uh, but I don't know what, like, Sandaconda is meant to live. I don't know what it does in particular. So it's a little bit scary. However, it is carrying a, a Rindo Berry. So I assume that it's a nice check to... Um, it's a nice check to Kartana, because it has Fire Fang on it, but this team, uh, let me see, Alakazam, Urshifu, probably Urshifu Dark, Rhyperior, Lapras, Glacier, and Rillaboom, that's probably going to be Trick Room Alakazam, I don't really see any other way, <laughs> I don't see any other way you, you would run Alakazam in this format, uh, and I don't want it to get its Trick Room up is the thing, I kind of wish I had a Ghost type here to prevent that, do I have any Taunt users? I do not. I do, however, have a Bisharp. I do have a Bisharp. Hmm. This team doesn't like Kartana. I think what I'll do is I'll lead off, um... We'll lead off Kartana Bisharp. Yeah. Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain it's going to be Focus Sash on the Alakazam to get the Trick Room off. Yeah, Kartana Bisharp. Um, no Sandaconda this game, I think. It doesn't have a great matchup here. We'll go ahead and we'll bring Cinderace and I think Tapu Fini to the play. Also, notice the wide lens Cinderace. If we miss a Pyro Ball or High Jump Kick today, that is just the worst thing possible. <laughs> that is, like, absolutely insane how bad our luck would be. As they lead off with Alakazam and Glacier, well, I definitely want to prevent that Trick Room, and I, I let off with a pretty decent way of stopping it. Um, I'm not going to Dynamax yet, since neither of my Pokemon should go down here. I'll go ahead and just go for an Assurance into the Alakazam, as well as a, uh, I suppose a Leaf Blade is the smartest play. 
those two moves should definitely stop the trick room. If he ally switches, I swear, I swear I am going to, uh, what, what do I have here to be a nuisance with? I'm going to take a bite out of my Old Spice deodorant. That is what I'm going to do. <laughs> that, that's what I'm going to do. I have an Old Spice Oasis with Vanilla Notes deodorant here. It is going to go in my stomach if this guy has ally switch right now. He's taking his time. He goes, hmm, do I want Moxie boosted to eat deodorant? I don't know. <laughs> As he does Dynamax, it's likely the Glacier. If it's not the Glacier, we might have made a big oopsie. <clears throat> okay, not a big oopsie. Tell me you trick roomed. There's no way you're not carrying trick room Alakazam, right? Oh god! Oh no! Please no! Don't do this to me! I don't want to die! No! No! <laughs> okay, Kartan, you got that, right? Okay, you, you can take like like two more of those. Oh my god! <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore! <laughs> Zordor, what did you bring me? Or what did you give me? This team can't deal with Speed Swap Alakazam. What kind of team is this? <laughs> if it can't deal with Speed Swap Alakazam, why am I running it? Tell me. Tell me right now. You know there's an Urshifu in the back about to mess me up, right? We, we all know that's what's going to happen, right? There's got to be an Urshifu about to just eat me, you know? And we know it's freaking weakness policy. Okay, it's Rillaboom. That's fine. That's fine. Um, He should probably... He, he should probably go for the fake out on Kartana. Grassy Seed, interesting. I guess that's to live, like, Max Airstream. I should be able... God, I have no safe switch-ins to this thing. I have to get in Cinderace very safely, and it's not going to happen. <clears throat> and I don't want to give him any free KOs, you know? Alright, he should just try to knock out Kartana. What I'll do here is I'll, I'll get in uh, Cinderace on the Bisharp slot. And I'll also get in Tapu Fini, since it should be able to eat a Max Quake pretty well. And what I'm going to try to do is avoid giving him his weakness policy until, like, he's completely done being Dynamaxed. Like, he's just bored of getting Dynamaxed. You know, three turns later, your Pokemon gets bored and he just gets small again. So please tell me you faked out Glacier right now. Or you faked out the Cinderace. Okay. Please tell me you also didn't go for a Max Quake into it. Come on, Tapu Fini, Tapu Fini, Tapu Fini, Tapu Fini, Tapu Fini, Tapu Fini. Okay. That is golden. That is golden. Because uh, what we can do, that is the second turn of Dynamax. What I'll do here is I will go ahead and I will max guard, turning myself into a epic normal type. Uh, and then I'll underspeed him and go for G-Max Fireball next turn. But until then, I want to send in my Kartana to eat this hit. Because he should just go for a max quake into the into the Cinderace. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> this is a terrifying match. Speed swap Alakazam. I find that funny. As soon as Glacier gets anything higher than, like, 30 speed, it automatically becomes the best Pokemon in the game. <laughs> if it wasn't already. It was, it was It was pretty close, but it, it might have already been. Tapu Fini just barely got it beaten out. It, not as an offensive Pokemon, but just overall. Okay, and since I'm slower than this Glacier, I assume, since I'm base... What is this guy, 119? I always forget his base speed. Cinderace's base speed. Alright, that does nothing. Dynamax has ended. And what I can do here is... I can just go for the G-Max Fireball, likely one-shotting this guy. High horsepower won't knock me out. Um, I'll go ahead and also go for the smart strike into it just to secure the KO in case G-Max Fireball by some, some miracle does not KO.
I think I think he's just gonna go for the high horsepower. It shouldn't knock out Kartana either from this range since Max Quake only did about half. There's Ice Go Crash. Okay, that's gonna knock me out. I don't mind losing Kartana as long as I keep everything else. Chilling Nay. G Max Fireball. Turn me into a fire type. Hit him with 150 base power fire move. I'm pretty certain it's not going to live this. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're good. That was terrifying. And I still have one more turn of Dynamax. Let's see if he has high horsepower. Probably does. Grassy Glide. Okay, two damage. Thank you. Oh, more than two because it's Rillaboom. And he is disgusting. I'll send in the Bisharp here. I still have full health on him in my Focus Sash, so we're probably in a position to win. Yeah, if it's Lapras, we're, we're probably in a position to win here. I'll go ahead and just G-Max Fireball this Rillaboom. And I can go for an Iron Head onto the Lapras. And then I can probably just win after that. Uh, Lapras shouldn't be able to knock me out while I'm Dynamaxed. As he protects, that's fine, I suppose. I can just sucker punch him next turn. I almost max knuckled, but it didn't feel worth it in case there was a weakness palsy on the Lapras in the end. I'm kind of hoping he just perish songs and then I can just switch out and win. <laughs> Iron Head. Flinch. Surf, okay. I mean, I should take that unless he's choice specs. Oh, yeah. And now I have high jump kick, which is a great move. It's a great move. Um, I don't have to risk anything. I'll just Pyro Ball into the Rillaboom in case he decides to protect the Lapras, which I think would make sense here. I'll go for another Iron Head into Lapras. It's it's within range where I can win with Tapu Fini regardless, I think. No protect, but Pyro Ball connects, so this should go down. Yep. Oh my... <laughs> Don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me. I can't I can't handle any more disappointment in my life. Can I flinch you? Surf. Alright, that should KO the, the Rillaboom, though. And Bisharp lives, so we win. <laughs> We're good. I was... I mean, dude, that Grassy Seed... That Grassy Seed came in clutch for him, but... Unfortunately, he knocked himself out. Send him my boy Tapu Fini. I can just spam Sucker Punch here. It'll always KO. I mean, I'm naturally faster, but I'm concerned about, like, a random Ice Shard. Go for this Moonblast. Click Sucker Punch. Epic. <coughs> Epic. Sorry. A little congested today, throat-wise, you know. But we pick up the first win today with the team. Nice little victory there. I, I like that I, I hardly have to worry about the high jump kick and pyroball misses with the wide, with the wide lens, but also, um, I don't like that if I do miss, I will be especially angry. <laughs> That's the thing, I'll be especially angry if I miss a wide lens high jump kick, you know? <clears throat> Alright, let's see. Atomino. Rank 13,000, okay? Um... I really want to bring the G-Max Sandaconda, that's the thing. I really want to bring it, but what does it do here? He's got high horsepower, rock slide, fire fang. I don't, I don't know what the matchup is really for this guy. I guess it's for Metagross, but we haven't seen a Metagross yet. You know what? Um, I don't think I care if I lose. I really just want to use this guy. And I don't know if I'll get an opportunity. Also, it's it's nice for Regieleki on lead. I suppose what I could try to do here is... Zapdos doesn't have Protect, that's the thing. Zapdos does not have Protect. 
I think what I want to do is go Bisharp Sandaconda on lead. Zapdos in the back. And dang, Kartana looks so good here. I can't not bring Kartana. This is a really awkward matchup, and I think it wouldn't have been nearly as awkward if I didn't bring the Sandaconda, but I, I just want to use her, you know? I really want to use her. And if it doesn't work out this game, I won't bring it next game, but... <laughs> I, I just have no idea what the Sandaconda does since he left me very few instructions. If you guys give me a team, I would, I would appreciate instructions, by the way. Okay, that's the lead I wanted. Okay, well this guy hacked hacked in a shiny Moltres. That's a little bit disappointing, bro. That's a little disappointing. I cannot I cannot tell a lie. Um, I don't want a Dynamax yet because I think that my best Dynamax option is actually going to end up being either Kartana or Tap or uh, Zapdos. So I'll just go for the high horsepower here, as well as a uh, assurance to ensure I get the KO. Since he's likely just going to nasty plot and go for screens. As he Dynamaxes, I'm going to assume Max Airstream. If it's Max Darkness, I'm kind of cool with that, because as long as it doesn't go into my Bisharp, I should be guaranteed to be able to just hit him again with, or hit him back with like a, uh, a Defiant boosted Max Steel Spike or something. There's the Reflect. That's fine. I should pick up a KO here. The Santa Conda's got some special defense, so I assume you can live one of the weaker Max Airstream users. We get our Sand Spit up. Breaking some Sashes. High horsepower connects, and we get that KO. Now, unfortunately, they did not go for the uh, <laughs> they did not go for the max darkness, which would have been preferred there because I would have been able to, you know, spam max Iron Head on them or max uh, Steel Spike. It seems pretty apparent to me. I have to go Zapdos here for my Bisharp. And probably just allow the Sandaconda to go down, unless there's something else I can do. I don't want to bring in Kartana yet. Uh, Zapdos is probably my win con. So what I'll do is I will protect here and get in the Zapdos with the safety goggles. There's the airstream. Into Zapdos. Not going to be doing too much, which is great. There's the Giga Drain. Not doing anything. And I think they're forced to go for the... Uh, I think they're forced to go for Max Darkness here. So what I can try to do... And this, this might be a little bit risky, but I can try to get in my Bisharp on their Max Darkness and the max airstream their Amoongus. And if I get my Defiant boost, I'm in a really, really good spot to win, since I still have my Sash. They're likely Koba Berry on the, um, on the Amoongus, though, so it's probably going to survive this, but at the very least, I'll get the speed boost I need to knock it out. There's the Protect, that's fine. As long as they went for Max Darkness here, I'm happy with what happened. Hey, okay, we caught him. We caught him. And it's into Bisharp too, which is probably the best case scenario. So now I'm at plus two attack. Which is great.
get this max airstream off. And that does nothing, but it's it also reveals that they don't have the Koba Berry. So what I can do here now is protect my Masharp and go for another max airstream. I'm not even concerned about the Moltres at this point. So I protect here. Max airstream the Amoongus once more. And he can, like, Nasty Plot, do whatever he wants. Um, I should be able just to outspeed and KO it with my, mul or with my Zapdos now. Likely just going to go for a Fiery Wrath. Rage Powder, that's fine. What if he Nasty Plotted? I don't think I really care, because um, even if he Nasty Plotted there, what would have happened is I, I would have been able to outspeed him this turn since I have a faster Pokemon overall. And he's only at plus two speed since I forced him to need to go for the uh, other max move. So I've tied up the speed tiers now. I have a Bisharp at plus two, plus two. I have a uh, Zapdos at plus two speed. Awesome. Okay, this game's going really good. Who's, who's my next victim? Who's my next victim? Oh, it's Mamoswine? You think I care about ammo swine? Check this out. I'm going to sucker punch him. I, actually, I don't even need to sucker punch him. Let me get that iron head on the boy. What's my last Pokemon Kartana? Okay. 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 Check this out. He he has to he has to go for a uh, ice shard which I should live. Yeah. So I'll just I'll just go for another max airstream. What matters is that my, um, he protects, okay, what matters is that my Bisharp is faster than that Moltres, so, as long as I get my Max Airstream off, I'm happy. Okay, looks like I made the right call. I can just double into that Moltres now with, um, Iron Head plus Thunderbolt, and that should do it. Actually, do I even need to? I could just go for the Iron Head and protect. Oh, no, I don't have protect, I'm dumb. <laughs> I think I always focus down the Moltres. Because he has to Ice Shard here. Are they carrying it? They should be carrying it. Iron Head U. And... I'll sack the Sandaconda. Because I don't want to lose Zapdos, I want to play it safe. And as long as my, my Bisharp stays healthy at the end of this turn, I'm good. This will also set up Sand. Yep, there's the Ice Shard. Sand Spit goes up. And he's a Life Orb, that's good. Get my iron head off. And I think even with the uh, the minus one special defense, he shouldn't be able to knock me out. There's the Fiery Wrath. Okay, yeah, we just barely hold on, which means we likely win here. Since he's taking some sand damage, I'm at plus two attack and everything. Getting the Zapdos, uh, we can go ahead and click Thunderbolt. Click my Iron Head. Thunderbolt as well, and that should do it. Yep, battle was cancelled. Nice. Uh, so far, this session's going pretty good. I like the team a lot. Let me take a look at that. Okay, Focus Sash. Makes sense. Continue battling here. Let's go with a uh, Spectrier. I, I don't really listen to that that music much. I think there's a lot of music I've overlooked in this game. All 
All right, as we're facing Gigi. And you know we're about to face another speed swap team, right? Like, we can all see it on the screen, right? That That's speed swap Feromosa. I don't even know if we can play around this one. Um, I have to play similarly to how I did the first game, except this time the speed swap user is a lot scarier. Uh, let me go Cinderace on lead. Let me go Cinderace on lead and probably the sharp. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Tapu Fini, Kartana, probably is the best play here. That's going to be Speed Swap Feromos, and I'm about to get everything destroyed on my side of the field. Because <laughs> I don't have a fake out user to stop it. No. I don't have a fake out user. Imagine if Cinderace just got follow me, and you just follow me the speed swap over onto it. My man riding a whale, dude. Spectre or Sableye, okay. Um... I don't think Sableye gets fake tears. Let me double check. It gets fake out, but not fake tears. So we should be good. He's probably just going to quash. I can probably just double sucker punch, and it will be absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm just going to double sucker punch. Okay, I hope this worked out, because they just Dynamax the Spectre. Please tell me this worked out. This will be really funny. Like, I'm going to Sucker Punch, and it's going to be like, Oh, good, we lived. And then I'm going to Sucker Punch again. <laughs> There's no way they Max Guarded, right? Oh, no. Oh, no! No! My Sucker Punches! Good thing I resist every hit. There's a Max Quake. It's going to be into my, my boy, but I should live it. Oh, wait, no, I don't because I didn't turn Dark type. Okay, so um, my lucky day, I have to choose who to Sucker Punch. And I have to call it correctly. Otherwise, this will not go well. Okay, they're Life Orb, so they're not living the Sucker Punch. I'll go Tapu Fini here. Seems safest. And if I were them, I would just ally switch again. I would just ally switch again. Go for a protect here. I pretty much get three attempts at Sucker Punch. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ah, okay. Well, that didn't work. There's Will-O-Wisp. Um, I'm immune, sir. Max Phantasm. That's fine. I am now at plus two. Matter of fact, I might just Dynamax here, man. Sableye should realize that it's not able to click a move here except for ally switch. Let me Moonblast into the Sableye, as well as Sucker Punch into the Sableye. So regardless, we, we hit something. It should just ally switch. Yep, got it. And now I'm at plus two, so you're not living. They call me the 50-50 master. I get it right 30% of the time, all the time. And now I have a Focus Sash plus two Bisharp, thank you. And this Moonblast is likely just going to KO, since it's Sableye. 
Oh, no, you live. Okay, well, that's fine. I'm going to Dynamax now. Ooh, a Zapdos. Okay. Um, so, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send in my Kartana. And I'm going to Protect. And what I can do is, as long as you don't click Heat Wave... <laughs> as long as you don't click Heat Wave, I should be fine. But also, I'm very scared that you might have just clicked Heat Wave because I didn't consider that possibility for some reason. Helping hand. Oh, that's a heat wave. You know that's a heat wave. You know that's a heat wave. Come on, tell me it's Thunderbolt. Tell me it's Thunderbolt, man. Yeah, Marcos, your idiocracy will never be surpassed. No one can top you. It will never happen. Okay, so here's the good news and the bad news. Good news and bad news. Um... I can't get burned. So what I can do here is I can go for a protect. On my Finny. Because they probably should expect a protect on my on my Bisharp. And I can go for a Assurance on the Sableye, anticipating them not to ally switch here. And the reason I'm assurancing the the Sableye is because I, I am not playing with, with Ally Switch for the rest of the game. I am not playing with that anymore. Hopefully they Thunderbolted. Nope, they Heat Wave. They can't burn me, so I'm safe. I am safe. Get rid of you. You should have been gone days ago. And it seems pretty clear to me that Tapu Fini is the ideal Dynamax target now, because I can just double into this, uh... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. You can't do this to me. You, you literally can't do this to me. Let me, um... Uh... <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. I protected Finny last year. I'm about to get Glizzy glided into. I'm about to get Glizzy glided. I can try to go for a double protect, but it's not going to happen. Or I guess what I can do is I can try to survive by Dynamaxing and uh, going for the Max Starfall, removing his priority. And if I survive, I'm good, because I can just Sucker Punch him. And I Sucker Punch the Zapdos, hoping that I crit, because it's not dying. I can guarantee that. Okay. Grassy Glide, you got this, Finny. You got this, Finny. You got... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tapu Finny. Get that berry. And I just have to get this Starfall off, man. And I also have to one-shot. Please, you're not gonna, are you? I hate this game, bro. I hate it here. Alright, good game. <laughs> good game. That was close. Uh, if I one-shot there, I would have won by virtue of undisputable offensive pressure, if that makes sense. Because he could no longer Grassy Glide, which meant that he had no priority. I would just spam Sucker Punch and Max Starfall into Rillaboom. So we do lose our last match, uh, unfortunately, due to 50-50s. And we will forfeit here. <laughs> we have no business playing Pokemon. Good game to my opponent. But yeah, uh, with that, I'm going to call, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you who've watched. All the subscriptions, all the likes, everything has been piling up, making me in a good mood. Appreciate all that. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.